let me just speak to one thing here, if I might. Well, I calm down just a tad. <laughs> John McCain has decided, after 26 years in Washington, that he's going to change Washington. <laughs> he has now said, I'm the agent for change. I'm not like George Bush. I'm a maverick. I'm going to give away my age here. When I was young, they used to have westerns on TV every week. One was maverick, but she also had a little ranger. Lone Ranger had a sack kick. John McCain is no maverick. He's a sack kick. Lone Ranger had Tonto. Everywhere Lone Ranger went, there was Tonto. John McCain votes 91% of the time for all these failed policies of George Bush. He's not maverick. He's Tonto. <laughs> some point in time, it's very, it used to be very popular here in the South, how long, oh Lord, how long? And so tonight we call his work and we're saying how long? And we're saying to our Lord and anyone else who would hear us, how long? And the question tonight is how long? How long will we stand idly by and watch 20,000 people who want to be in a union get fired every year in the United States of America? I submit to you, how long? Not long! How long will we look around and see people who work every day and live in poverty? Most of these 37 million people, they go to work every day. They wash your cars, they make your bed, they scrub your floors, they empty the big pans in the hospital. How long are we going to stand by while these people live in poverty in the United States of America? How long? Not long. As these CEOs get richer and richer and get tax breaks to take our jobs offshore and give jobs to people in other countries and give them money to do that, how long? Oh, not long, brothers and sisters, not long. How long are we going to stand idly by? And we spend $10 billion a month in Iraq. We blow up bridges on Monday and rebuild them on Tuesday and we pay for that. But we don't, don't have the money to rebuild New Orleans. We tell the people, the citizens of the United States of America, you get in line now, you get in line right behind those folks from Iraq. How long are we going to put up with this? Oh, not long, brothers and sisters. We've got, we got more young black men in jail than in college. In the United States of America, brothers and sisters, that is not right. We need to open up the doors of opportunity in this country. How long are we going to keep those doors closed? Oh, not long, not long. We've got first-class jails in the United States of America and second-rate schools in the United States of America. How long? How long? How long? How long are we going to put up with an eight hundred billion dollar trade deficit in the United States of America? Of America we've ever seen. How long are we going to 